And I there see. is one in particular that has stolen her heart. I've got Hold all these chandeliers. No, bro, stroking the chandelier. That's what I mean. Imagine you're a chandelier just sitting, hanging around, and you see her over there stroking and polishing some other candlestick. I mean, whoa, whoa. Ah! How are you doing? You said I startled you? That sounds like a personal problem. Listen, if you've never been here before, welcome. You do beautiful things over here all the time, and I would love to have you be part of those beautiful things. I would love to have you grow with us. So go ahead and subscribe. Join this family. Right now, we're going to react to a lady who was in love with a, a chandelier. Are you seriously? What the fuck are you doing? A chandelier. If you've never seen any of my content, like I said, subscribe. Uh, let's get into the video, bro. I think I said everything I need to say. This is Amanda. Amanda. She fell in love with Lumia. She's very of course he has funny. a name. She's excitable. Oh. She's mature, but oh, she's... it's a she. My fit, my my fault. I'm gonna say my feezy. I said that in a minute. Well, even though she's a hundred years old. While many struggle to get to grips with cats, a man's huh? unusual romance. Okay, okay. I feel like they're gonna talk about this. Why are there so many Statues of Liberty everywhere? What's up with this? What's up? It was difficult because nobody really Look at her shirt. understood me. No one really got me. Amanda has come to terms with the fact that she has fallen in love with a chandelier. I've never loved the human way of love. Yeah. Not that way. Not being totally madly in love. I want to swing. <gasps> she, oh my gosh, bro. Literally before, before. I started recording the video. I was singing this song because of her, and she actually sang it. Okay, number one, you have more than one chandelier. So you telling me that chandelier ain't getting jealous or nothing? You know what I'm saying? I don't know about you, but if I was a chandelier, I'm just saying. Physically, my, so what I. attracts me about chandeliers is the way they look, the, the rotational symmetry. Real curvy, yeah, symmetrical. Symmetry. They don't yeah, have to symmetrical. have beautiful prisms on them. They can be without, they can just be a beautiful shape. I have a collection of roughly 50. Hold on! <laughs> my grandma has the chandelier. I'm not joking. This is the exact chandelier my grandma has in her dining room. Pointless. I don't even know why I put that in the video. Let's keep it going. Of roughly 50. Just such a beautiful Okay, okay, look at you! Sound. I fell in love with drum space when I was about 14. That lasted for quite a while. There was actually another love between there that I don't talk about that much, but it's the American flag. She's falling in love with inanimate objects. I'm not saying that this is insane because I've seen this more than once, but I will say that this is a very rare, rare thing. Um, and and personally to me, it's not for me. Not for me. No. So I love the American flag for a couple of years, and I still do. I just like how it looks. Then the Statue of Liberty, as she came in. Uh... And you know, for some reason, I was so distracted by all the American flags and all the Statues of Liberty, y'all. I kid you not, I'm just now hearing that she has an accent. About 2000. Don't look at me like now. that. Do not this look at me like that. Killer example I've had for 10 years. <laughs> Although Amanda still has love for the Statue of Liberty, her affections have since moved over to chandeliers. And I there see. is one in particular that has stolen her heart. I've got Hold all these chandeliers. Oh, bro, stroking the chandelier. That's what I mean. Imagine you're a chandelier just sitting, hanging around, and you see her over there stroking and polishing some other candlestick. I mean, whoa, whoa. These round, as you can <laughs> tell, but there is one in particular that is special to me. And that is this one. Uh huh. That is Lumia. I discovered Lumia on eBay as you were in Germany. And I thought, oh no, I'm not going to be able to get her. You know, she's too expensive for one. And how am I going to get her? Is that the actual name of it, like the brand? I ended up buying her. I fell in love with her from the moment I saw her. The way she looks, the angles on her attract me. Her bronze, you know, her colour, her attitude, her way, her energy. 
uh, I'm so happy. Yes, yeah. extremely energetic. That I can see the energy. I can definitely see it. Yeah, her energy. She's very funny. She's excitable. She's quite the jokester. Mature, but she's yes. youthful as well. Even though she's a hundred years old, you know, she has a really positive vibe. She brings out the good in me. Yeah, there's definitely a physical attraction there. Most definitely. I mean. The shape of her arms is just so unusual. I've never seen that before. I love the amount of detail. You know, look, it's amazing. When I talk bro, she really got me over here staring at the freaking chandelier. I'm over here like, dang, you do got a whole bunch of stuff going on, huh? No. So like I am now, I feel the energy coming down from my arm, my warmth from my body into her. She's light. I'm sorry, I'm gonna probably be loud. You listen, Colleen, now, aren't you? Yeah. Pennies. Although Amanda's friends and family are accepting of her affection for objects, many people don't understand. And then she got the cats. On the cat is on the stove. It's strange because it's unusual. You know, it's not something that everyone's heard of before. People might not understand no. the attraction. No. The energy and it's a black cat. Because they don't. And it's a cat. So. From objects. I get mixed reactions from people, really. Some people are like, oh, well, you yeah, know, that's, that's interesting. And other people are like, well, how does that work? People aren't really mean to me on my, to my face, you know? So whatever people might type on the internet. Wait, like, did she say they are mean to her or they aren't mean to her to her face? I, 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 I was going to say I couldn't hear her, but apparently I can't talk either, so let's just... They wouldn't dare say it to my face. They're just trying to impress their mates or whatever, you know. I have tried dating humans before. I've had two relationships. Is that a cat in the window? With human male. But I don't know exactly where my love with objects compares the same with people's love for other people. So my sexuality is object and sexuality. It's where you fall in love with an object. Most of the time, I would say all the time the And this is why, before earlier in the video, I, I can't say, I can't call it insane because I've seen this before. Reason is from It's not that crazy. An object in sexuality. It's not that crazy. Feels energy from an object. It's different for me. It's very much emotionally based and very energy based. Physically wise. I'll kiss her and I'll cuddle I'm gonna be a buck with you. I, I've been like joking around. The video's almost over. It's, at this point, it's just her kissing the chandeliers. Please, truly. You know what? I'm gonna leave this one here. I'm gonna leave. The, <laughs> I'm gonna leave this one here. I think I could go without seeing the last minute of the video. If you would like to watch the rest of this video, you can go. Uh, actually, just go to the description. It'll be down there. There will be a link. But before you go, if you thought anything about this video was interesting go ahead and kiss a chandelier for me i'm sorry i'm sorry i made that so weird i'm sorry what i really was going to say was subscribe subscribe you still gonna subscribe after i said that you real you real give me some yeah yeah you're a homie now if you didn't subscribe you got about five minutes before i pull up i'm just saying um thank you for stopping by for real you do beautiful things on your own and i'll see y'all in the next video peace